Imagine this. You're sitting front row at the movie theater for the most anticipated film of the year. The plot is reaching its climax, and then you feel it. That large soda you drank is ready to make its exit, and your bladder is about to burst. Now, you've got a choice to make. Do you stand up and risk having popcorn thrown at you for interrupting everyone's viewing experience, or do you hold it in and sit through the discomfort? Many people would deal with the embarrassment and go to the bathroom. But what if you didn't? Sure, it would be uncomfortable and it might even hurt a little bit, but it can't be that dangerous, right? I wouldn't be so sure. We've all resisted the urge to urinate from time to time, but what would happen if you held it for a really long time? Let's take a look at why holding it can hurt so badly and what would happen to you if you ignored your bladder signals for too long. Your bladder could hold about one liter or two cups of liquid before it reaches capacity. When your bladder is about half full, it activates tiny receptors in your bladder wall. The nerves signal to your brain that it's time to empty the tank. The bladder muscles then squeeze, and the tiny muscles in the urethra open, and urine flows out. But when you're too busy to go, or you simply cannot find a restroom, the cylindrical sphincters of your bladder close tightly to prevent any leakage of urine into your urethra. These tiny muscles are your saving graces, and they've saved you from a world of embarrassment before, but don't ask too much of them. Holding back urine for too long and too regularly will weaken your bladder muscles that control the flow of urine. This could lead to urinary retention, where you are unable to fully empty your bladder. It can also result in loss of voluntary control of urination, which can result in leakage. The more you put off emptying your bladder, the more it stretches out, which can result in an overstretched bladder. When this happens, your body starts completely missing the cues that your bladder needs emptying, and that can lead to some pretty embarrassing accidents. Another consequence of holding it in is pain. You know that sharp feeling you get when you need to go, and then when you finally do, the sharp feeling disappears? Well, holding on for too long can mean that the awful pain in your lower abdomen continues and even gets worse. In some conditions, holding urine for any length of time can even be dangerous. Holding urine for extremely long periods of time can cause bacteria to build up and multiply. In severe cases, this bacterial buildup can cause urinary tract infections or UTIs. UTIs occur because bacteria has made its way into the urinary tract, which then causes frequent and painful urination. It goes without saying that your bladder connects to your urinary system, which includes your kidneys. All your blood is filtered through the kidneys, and the metabolic waste is then passed out in urine. When you retain urine for too long, the waste is not passed out of the body, which can cause metabolic abnormalities and electrolyte issues. This can lead to long-term kidney failure. In rare cases, urine can back up into the kidneys and lead to an infection or kidney damage. If you are already suffering from medical conditions such as an enlarged prostate, or neurogenic bladder or kidney disorders, then holding urine can be a very bad idea, because doing so can make these conditions much more severe. In extremely rare and serious situations, holding urine for too long can lead to a bladder rupture, which can be deadly. In most cases, holding it every now and then isn't harmful to your health. Just don't do it often, or it can lead to some serious problems down the road. Wow, I went the entire video without saying pee. Wait. Oh, dang it. <laughs>